What's up, brothers and sisters? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about why the prophecies of God never been fulfilled and why Christ didn't never come. Now, a lot of people don't, don't know what the prophecies of God really is. A lot of people think the prophecies is just Christ coming 2,000 years ago. The prophets did not prophesize about Christ coming 2,000 years ago. This is not what the prophets prophesied. So let's go into verses of the prophecies to show you why the prophecies that the prophets prophesied in the Old Testament is happening in 2024 and future. Come walk with me. Okay, so let's get into the book of Isaiah. You know, Christ was handed the stroll of Isaiah. Bless those with the ears to hear. It says, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations. Now, for my brothers and sisters who don't know what an ensign is, it's a banner. It's a sign. It's in the earth. So the ensign is the son of God, the son of man, the living son of man at that time being born of the virgin spirit as the prophet Isaiah prophesies in chapter 9 and 6. The Lord himself will give you a sign. And this is the virgin birth, the one that comes from undefiled information that man didn't touch. Then it says, I will assemble the outcasts of Israel. Those who have been outcasted from Israel transgressions and Israel sins because Israel is still sinning. So the outcast who is not doing this, they're going to be gathered by what? The sign. The one who, who coming from the virgin birth in the earth. It says, and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Now, Christ didn't gather us 2,000 years from the four corners of the earth. So Isaiah wasn't talking about that Christ. Remember who gave you the 2,000 year old Christ. It wasn't the prophets. It wasn't Moses. It wasn't nobody in the Bible. Let it marinate. So let's go to another verse, y'all. Okay, now we're in the book of Jeremiah 23. Let's read these prophecies. So it say, Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that they shall no more say the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So what Jeremiah is saying, we'll no longer talk about what Moses did. Why? Because we're going to be talking about the fulfillment that God has done after Moses. But see, we thinking God, we talking about 2,000 years after Moses. We're not talking about verse 8 because verse 8 is going to show you what we should be talking about if the prophecies of God has been fulfilled. But see, the prophecies of God have never been fulfilled. They are being fulfilled now. This is why soon, this is what we'll be saying in verse 8. It says, But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. Now, who is of the seed of Israel? Ain't that us? Ain't we in North America? Did Christ come get us from North America 2,000 years ago? No. It says, and from all the countries where I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. This is what the prophet Jeremiah prophesies about. Jeremiah did not prophesy of somebody coming and flying away. Who told us this story? It wasn't the prophets and nobody in the Bible. Remember who told you this story about the 2,000-year-old Christ. We got one more verse for y'all. Come walk with me, y'all. So now we're in the good old book of Ezekiel, the son of man. Now, if you really knew the allegory meaning of Ezekiel, you will understand that Ezekiel's story is happening today. That's what I'm finna reveal because Ezekiel is the son of man who builds the new temple. That's why you have the measurements of the new Jerusalem in Ezekiel. But we think Ezekiel is a prophet in the historical times, you know. But let's read, y'all. Ezekiel 28, we're going to start at verse 25. It says, thus says the Lord. When I shall gather the house of Israel from the people among whom they were scattered. Now, it's mighty funny is the Old Testament talk about the scattered people so much. But when Christ came 2,000 years ago, the people wasn't scattered. Let me just keep, let me keep reading it. It says, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen. So God has sanctified someone in the sight of the people. No prophet said somebody was coming down from the sky. It says, then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. And they shall dwell safely and shall build houses and plant vineyards. Yeah, they shall dwell with confidence when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them around about. And they shall know that I am the Lord. So, 
These are just some of the prophetic visions that I could, that I could bring to you in this short period of time to show you why this book was for the last days. Because none of these prophetic visions that I showed to you in the Old Testament, which they say Jesus Christ came and fulfilled, so Christ done away with the old. Come on now, y'all. These things are happening now. I'm the one that has opened the book, and I am the one that will close the book. And we will walk into the new heaven and new earth together. So as always, y'all, I hope the Father has circumcised y'all hearts and ears for this message. Peace and blessings, y'all. I'm out.